this is Vamna Studio and we are joined by Mr. Tayyip Qureshi who is the CEO of Roshan Packages. Thank you so much for being with us and taking our time to talk to us. Thank you for inviting me. Sir, I'd like to ask you firstly a little bit about your business. What exactly is it and where did you get this idea and how did you turn it into reality? Um, actually, my company is a private limited company and uh, we are one of the biggest, one of the leading exporter of fresh fruits and vegetables. And besides exports of fresh fruits and vegetables, we produce, uh, we manufacture corrugated cartons and flexible packaging in Pakistan. And uh, the idea, how we get this idea is, uh, uh, actually we were, uh, we, were, we, were, we were exporting fruits and vegetables from Pakistan and we were unable to find good quality corrugated cartons in Pakistan. So we were importing from Dubai, from UAE, from UK and from other countries. And uh, at that time, we, we, we think that we should have our own facility. And then we uh, installed this uh, corrugated plant in Pakistan in back 2003. Yeah. And we started uh, manufacturing corrugated cartons. So like it's an idea growing out of another idea. Yes, you are absolutely right. So what kind of a business model did you have in mind when you set up the corrugated, fact uh, corrugated paper factory? I mean, it, was it just to simplify your process of export or did you have an idea that you were going to also sell it on a different scale? Yes, you are absolutely right. When we were uh, thinking about uh, this business, so we were thinking that we should, the, 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 the company should cater our uh, demands and we should, we, are, we should be able to uh, manufacture good quality cartons with good quality packaging products to other companies, especially the companies who are exporting products from Pakistan and uh, companies who are looking for good quality products. And uh, that's we did it, and we that time we uh, installed the most modern uh, packaging facility, and we import latest machinery from Europe and the Far East, from Taiwan, and we hired professionals from all over the Pakistan. Even we hired Pakistanis who were working in the Middle East, okay. and we hired them in our uh, company, and uh, we adopt the uh, latest uh, ERP systems and uh, the, and the other systems, the quality standards, and that so that we can cater the demands of. Uh, uh, of, of international companies. So it seems like your business is a such that can be seen as a regional development as well. You know, uh, because you're talking about exporting. What's the future of your company, let's say, to the in the UAE or other parts of Asia? Do you see yourself expanding in that direction? Yes, yes. We are actually working on that uh, area. Uh, we think and we have already, uh, uh, I mean, we research on it that uh, the fruits and vegetable and the packaging both have great demand in the uh, Middle East and we have the capabilities and uh, the, the potential to not, not only the export from Pakistan but we can have our own manufacturing facilities in uh, UAE, especially in Saudi Arabia and, uh, and the other, uh, other Middle East countries. They have uh, this potential and we can have our own facilities in the near future. We are working with, uh, we are talking with many, many counterparts in, in, in that area and we think that uh, we should be able to start our own facility uh, by the end of 2013. So that's your plan for the next yes, five years? Yes, yes, yes. Tayyip, I would like to ask you lastly, um, a lot of people have good ideas and they also see gaps where demand is not fulfilled by supply and there's a gap where you can actually make a product that will make you some money and you can create a great business. But a lot of people have a problem with access to capital and they need investment. As this conference, you know, we were discussing the same thing. How important is it to rely on traditional forms of investment, like going to banks or something, or other forms? What would you advise young entrepreneurs? That is a very good question. Uh, uh, if you take my example, we start with uh, very uh, little uh, equity. Uh, we, we start with little equity and uh, we um, uh, use banks for uh, supplier credit and then uh, uh, we uh, go for a, uh, working capital lines with banks. Uh, but now we, we think that, we think that uh, the, the investment companies, uh, the companies like, um, and there are many companies who are investing in the, in the growing companies. And I think, I think this is the best uh, uh, solution for companies who are good enough, uh, they have good idea and they have the past record and they have good entrepreneurial skills and they have the systems and they believe on uh, transparency uh, in, in, and, and the ethics and the integrity. 
they should uh, they should uh, talk to to the investment companies and they are the one who can invest uh, in the companies like uh, like us or like any company who have a good idea who have good past record thanks so much for talking to us it was really great to have you it's a pleasure it's a pleasure thank you